is there a recession? What's happening in the CMO world? This is Barbara Rosgoni. I'm your host of Growing Social Now, and I have a special news report on a survey, the results of a survey I just got from three companies, Busbar, CMO Huddles, and Redpoint. They surveyed 121 CMOs to find out that there is an underground recession, which is severely impacting marketing departments right now. So is there really a recession? I mean, when we look at the US economy, since the beginning of 2024, the S&P 500, America's main stock market index, increased by 446 points or 9.34%. So it looks like we're pretty doing pretty good, right? But uh, the, not according to the CMOs that the, these firms surveyed. In fact, what they said was 69% believe their industry is in a recession. 61% feel the overall unemployment rate doesn't reflect what is happening in their industry. And 62% feel the stock market gains are out of sync with their industry performance. So uh, the key challenges include budget cuts, longer deal cycles, and widespread layoffs. And the pressure is taking a personal toll. So let's dive into this. What is driving the budget cuts? Well, higher interest rates and inflationary pressures are to blame. According to Deloitte, 52% of companies reported a decrease in marketing spending with only 16.6% reporting an increase. So over half of companies are decreasing their marketing spending. There's underwhelming progress on digital transformation and spending hasn't met expectations. So with the fuzzy ROI, CMOs are finding it increasingly challenging to get budget approval. And Gartner's 2023 CMO spend and strategy survey found that 70% of CMOs reporting that the lack of sufficient budget or resources is hampering their efforts to deliver successful marketing. So over 70% of CMOs feel like they don't have enough money to get the results they want. And what happens when budgets get cut? This is interesting. Research by analytic partners showed that brands that cut media spending saw an 18% reduction in sales. So when they say media spending, I'm thinking they mean advertising, uh, but brands that maintained or increased their budgets saw a 54% ROI. So that makes sense as other companies and competition drop out of the mix the ones that continue to invest get more attention and, and more ROI. Another problem is longer deal cycles. So when there's a longer deal cycle, there's more touch points, more content, and more work for marketing. In fact, 54% of the CMOs say deal cycles are longer, especially for startups where the sales cycle is now 36% longer. The survey says that reducing a deal cycle from four months to three months can boost annual recurring revenue by 46%. So just one month and, and for companies that are looking at quarterly results, if you can get things done in three months, that's great. It increases your recurring revenue by 46%. But if you can reduce the deal cycle to only two months, that's about eight weeks. You can the efforts can result in a 143% increase in annual recurring revenue. That's fantastic. I, I'm not sure how you can go from four months to two months and get your, your customers to decide they want to buy, but there are ways to do it, and that's what smart marketers are figuring out. So another area that's really troubling is staffing cuts and layoffs. 50% of the marketers surveyed had experienced layoffs, and 41% saw marketing department cuts cuts. And I see this over and over. I have a lot of peers who are looking for marketing jobs, and it is really tough out there. I asked uh, one of the marketing recruiters I know what's going on, and they said it's feast or famine, and there's a lot of reorganizations and layoffs. And why is that? Well, marketing is, is seen as a cost center rather than a revenue generator by 48%, and this is just financial service companies, which makes marketing an easy target. So if they're trying to cut costs, they go straight to marketing and companies, big companies like Amazon are shifting marketing dollars to generative AI. 
So uh, less need for staff. It's not a revenue center. It's a cost center. These are where the layoffs and the cuts are coming from. So how is this impacting CMOs? 69% are asked to do more with less, and 76% are under more pressure to deliver pipeline results. Now, this mounting pressure on the CMO role, it takes a personal and professional toll. In fact, 67% of those surveys surveyed said that it took a toll on their overall well-being, with things like 80% got less exercise. Additionally, 50% ate less healthily, and 40% reported weight gain. Furthermore, 30% ex experienced a reduction in romantic sexual activity, and 15% suffered from mental health issues caused by stress. So it, it's, there's a lot of pressure on CMOs right now, and there aren't a lot of job openings. In fact, CMO job postings dropped 62% in the U.S., and 40% globally from February 2023 to February 2024. And what are the factors for the decline? Well, a lot of companies are consolidating marketing under roles such as COO, CGO, Chief Growth Officer, or CRO, Chief Revenue Officer, to streamline leadership and reduce perceived redundancies. So not a lot of job openings, a lot of pressure, and, and what, what can you do, you know? so. The survey um, came up with a few different options and, and ideas, um, expand the role to CMO plus, adding internal communications, customer experience, customer success, AI transformation, and maybe even sales. So instead of just being the chief marketing officer, really expanding out. And it's kind of interesting because even just a couple of years ago, the CMO role was a really important role in the company. In fact, we were seeing a trend to have the CMO be even more important than the chief information officer because marketing had so much tech surrounding it. But now it's really um, expanding into other areas. That's the way to go. And th this idea I like, um, come up with metrics to show marketing's impact beyond the pipeline to employees, customers, prospects, and partners. And then another is just to focus on one really big idea. And also AI implementation. AI is a game changer. I agree with that. And um, I do feel like that's really driving a lot of things that are, are happening right now. So um, this is a, it's, it's a very interesting report I, I feel like it's, uh, you know, the, the pressure is on to deliver results at an all time high and it's it's a tough time for CMOs. there's a lot happening and for marketers in general, I know this survey was just about CMOs, but I feel like for marketers in general uh, it's really time for us to evaluate what our role is <clears throat> and i'm starting to see ideas coming out around the ecosystem about how we want to reduce our content productivity, how uh, maybe we don't want to be on so many platforms. And I know with my company, we've come up with a new way to do marketing called rapid refresh. And so within 45 days, plus or minus, we take a company and rework where they are entirely with new branding, new website, uh, photography, PR. So that what happens is they, they become a whole new company. They kind of reinvent who they are digitally, dynamically, directly, and with data too. So uh, the 45 days plus or minus is great for smaller companies. I do believe the system can be expanded to larger companies as well. But the reason we came up with it is because you have to do things quickly and we want to be expedient and we really want to focus on that one big idea. So. If you'd like to talk about this, I would love to hear other people's opinions. I think there's something like 350,000 people on the LinkedIn CMO group. There's just hundreds of thousands. This survey was only to 121 CMOs, but I do think it's identifying some underpinnings of, a, of an underground recession that we all need to be aware of. So that's it for today. This is Barbara Rosconi. I'm your host of Growing Social Now News. Thank you for listening and please subscribe wherever you like to listen to your podcasts. And thanks to Corey West Media for producing and bringing this podcast to you.